Hey, welcome back to Leading Edge. We are taking you inside a city of Toledo City Council proposal that, as we said off the top, seems maybe minor or narrow focused on the surface, but which has drawn the attention and opposition of no less than the Chamber of Commerce, the Home Builders Association, Toledo Regional Association of Realtors, and Connect Toledo, the downtown development organization. I welcome back to my Leading Edge table, City Councilman Rob Ludeman, a member at large, Republican at large. How many years have you been on council? 20. Four. Who's counting? Gee whiz, that's a heck of a run, sir. And when I say at large, this is elected citywide. Uh, by profession, he is a realtor. I see where the Realtors Association right. has weighed in against the licensing ordinance. Is it on that front, or on what basis, Councilman, do you oppose the required licenser, licensure of drywallers here in Toledo? We should point I out, too, that realtors have to be licensed. Yes, yeah, yes. And fingerprinted now is my understanding. Is that right? If you're licensed after okay. uh, a couple Certain months time. ago. Um, I should say I have made no commitment on this ordinance okay. because typically as an ordinance is presented, it gets changed in some way, manner, okay. or form. But it appeared to be on a fast track coming into the first meeting of the year. And because I started getting a lot of calls and emails of opposition, I uh, asked uh, Matt Cherry Council to, President. to have a hearing on it. And he said, well, that's fine. And why don't you chair it? in the Regional Growth and Development Committee. Which you run the committee, okay. So I agreed to that. I also changed the format of our council um, hearings and asked that the audience be allowed to testify first before any council members testify. So uh, we had a, uh, quite a parade of folks coming forward and um, we had a time limit for each one, but they all put it very well on point as to why they were opposed to it. Uh, there have been a lot of discussions since uh, I've learned more about drywall uh, in the last two or three weeks than I, other than I show houses and I know there's drywall or plaster there, you know. <laughs> but um, what's the origin of this proposal? Uh, the origin it had um, Council President Matt Cherry's name on it, and I, I would imagine that it came through the carpenters um, and uh, their executive committee and that's as much as I, I know about that although I have had conversations. They, could they identify a problem they were trying to address? The, the two issues that have been brought up um, uh, are safety, safety. Yep. and the other uh, wage theft I'm not sure if you talk wage, chef, uh, wage mm. theft being not being paid enough from a city standpoint we do have a lot of issues and concerns about uh, especially folks coming in from out of town, working, and not filing a 1099 or a W-2 on the work that they've been doing. So from the city standpoint, I think there is a valid um, argument there. Um, one thing that I have thrown out there mm -hmm. um, and done a red line version of the ordinance by substituting the word registration for licensing. And to register would simply mean um, that those individuals that are working on a project, the city knows exactly who they are, and the subcontractor, the general contractor, they know who everybody Wait, is. No, okay. Now, they, Maumee has it, um, Columbus has it. Uh, you talk about standard loss. Uh, I know from uh, Mr. Prater that yep. he does some work in Columbus, and his subs and general contractors have to register. Prater is one, by the way, who said he's working down here at Ford Industry now. Yeah. He's down the street here, and he says, I'll wrap this up and see you later, Toledo. Well, another thing that I've pointed out to my uh, fellow council members from day one is that um, any projects, no matter what happens, what's passed or, or whatever comes through, um, it would not affect... Uh, projects that already are, are in the pipeline, wow. that are under construction, they would all be grandfathered in. And there's quite a lot of projects there. But do you worry that developments like this, not developments like building things, but a development, a legislative development like this, could slow the revitalization that we see all over our city? I'm always concerned when there's uh, too much government interference yeah. uh, in, in any, anything. So uh, from the real estate standpoint, from our general lives. And, is this a uh, union versus non-union issue? You know, it could be painted that way, but I, you know, I, I, I try to make friends and uh, understand all sides of every mm -hmm. issue. And I've had discussions with a lot of different folks. One of the best resources we have is Bailey Stanberry. Bailey has been a general contractor for many, many years. He sits on several boards in Columbus and. Um, 
he was a, also a member of the Planning Commission for quite a few years. So he, his experience is invaluable. All right. Uh, you're on the inside. What happens next to this proposal? Um, we have a council meeting Tuesday. It will not be voted on Tuesday. It will not be this. Okay, you heard that here? There will be a hearing at 2 o'clock next Wednesday okay. in council chambers. And uh, if there have been any changes to the legislation, um, we'll try to get those things out ahead of time. Uh, or if there are different versions, we'll try to get them out ahead of time. And then folks are invited in to, uh, to um, comment. And I've been asked to chair that meeting too. So. Well, of course, this is why you get elected or reelected or reelected to city council, is you don't just draw a line in the stand at the very beginning. Yeah. You, you, you take a problem, you take it apart and say, okay, there's a legitimate concern over here, maybe we can address it. Yep. City Councilman Rob Ludeman is my guest. And I have much more not connected to this issue that I'd like to talk about. You up for it? Yep. He's back. This is Leading Edge right after this.